In this video, we'll take you through the correct steps to manually calibrate your Draeger XAM2500 multi-gas detector. This particular configuration is the standard configuration and it detects LEL, O2, CO and H2S. For calibration of the unit, you'll need calibration gas, a calibration cradle and tubing and a suitable regulator. In this instance, we're using the standard calibration mix as seen on screen. The calibration cap for the XAM2500 must be purchased separately. Before you begin, ensure you're calibrating in a safe area that's free from hazardous gas and in a fresh air environment. When the monitor is switched on, it will perform a number of self-checks and you'll be able to see the Cal Dew screen. After these tests, the unit should show normal measurement mode. To set up your equipment, attach the tubing onto the regulator, screw the regulator to the calibration gas bottle, ensuring that the valve is closed. Attach the other end of the tubing onto the right hand side of the cradle. Attach an additional piece of tubing onto the cradle to vent the gas into a fume cupboard or the open air. To enter the calibration menu on the XAM2500, hold the plus key down for at least 4 seconds or until the unit enters the password screen. Unless otherwise stated, the password should be 001. Press the OK key to proceed and on to the next digit and use the plus button to scroll through the numbers. Once you've entered 001, press OK to confirm the password and proceed with calibration. To select the one button calibration function, press the OK button. Place the unit inside the cradle until it clicks into place. Turn the valve to release the gas and the sensor should start to respond and you should see values on screen similar to those on your gas cylinder. Once it's successful, the screen will show that the measured values have stabilised and an OK symbol should appear next to each value. Turn off the gas and remove the device from the calibration cradle. The values will return to normal and operation can continue. Now that the unit is calibrated, you may wish to consider carrying out a bump test or function test the next time you use the device. This helps give the wearer peace of mind that the unit will function as intended in the field.